be a way to do this. So we deal with hair and different hair. I'm not gonna put the invention on the thing. Different hair, okay? Now there gotta be a way to do this better. So because I recognize the problem, I invented a business. <laughs> But we run from problems. Man, we do the same thing every day the same way. That's what they told me to do. This is what you do for a living, though. You do this every day. You mean to tell me you ain't found no problems? You ain't found a single solution to nothing? Listen, think about that. Your mind is so weighed down. That you can't even see a problem that visits you every single day. Now, how does your life look? Man, we wake up and do the same thing with the same issues, the same worries, the same problems every single day. And have never addressed them. Because we refuse to change. We refuse to. It ain't because he don't want us to. We refuse to do it. We refuse to do it. Bro, listen, well, I don't care where you work at. I don't care if you flip burgers at Burger King or, or work at the fry basket at McDonald's. There's a better way to do it. So now think about your life. I'm, I'm good where I'm at. I, I got mine. I'm, you is not telling the truth. It's impossible for your life to be perfect. You complain too much. That's so what you're going to do about it. Are you willing to do something about it? Or is status quo going to be all right with you because you're afraid? Because <coughs> that's all it is. You're scared. Yeah. They out there? No, I'll just let them Oh, 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 oh. Because we're afraid. We refuse. We complacent. We contend. Is that what causes stagnation? Fear? Man, listen, man. The, we're gonna talk. This is what we're talking about tonight. So I'm not gonna go too far into it. I'm gonna give them about five or ten more minutes, and we're gonna get started. But you literally, it ain't even stagnation. It's death. Dead man bones. You supposed to have power. But you don't have power because you're living in death. You got a form of power. <coughs> got a form of power. Man, you know how many weak people it is that lift weights? And I don't mean strength as in physical strength. I mean weak. I mean weak. Don't have the capacity to... And now they got a level of strength because it takes mental capacity to work out. But I'm talking about deeper than that, though. Because it still depends on the reason you're working out. If you working out to look good. <laughs> there we go. If you working out just to look appeasing to the eye, you weak. You weak. If the reason that you're working out has nothing to do with health. There ain't nothing wrong with working out just to look good either. But I'm just telling you, if that's your only motivation. Once that motivation leaves, so does your working out. So it's deeper than stagnation. It's deeper than that. It's deeper than that. Being stagnant just means you, you ain't moving. You okay with not moving. <laughs> so it's deeper than just being stagnant. You understand what I'm saying? Being okay with not moving means there's something wrong mentally. There's a reason you ain't moving. That's a good word, strong code. Because strong codes start in the mind. I'm about to point up here, but I was going to do that for the cameras. No, but we know the mind ain't up here. It's in the heart. That's the reason why as soon as, a, uh, uh, and I'm just using women for an example, but whenever women, uh, or even men, whenever women uh, 
get break up with somebody or do anything like that, they immediately got to change something fa uh, in their facial. So they got to change something you can see. They cut the hair. You ain't got to tell me I'm lying. I've been living too long not to, for you not to know that you that I know you know what I'm talking about. Well, not necessarily cut. They might change it up, though, but they ain't going to. Oh, no, nah, the, the, a lot of women cut it. I'm talking about cut it. And the cut used to go through a mid when it going through a mid like Christ. No, 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 no. This used to happen when I was in the snow. I ain't before it. This year, I used to see this growing up. I'm talking about cut it. Man, I seen man. I know a young lady guy had a fade was better than mine. I'm talking about Caesar. But yeah, that too. They'll change it up. But they you that men, we going to the gym. Yeah. We going to pound on some muscles yeah. because your heart was broken, and you're telling yourself, if I do this, this will make me stronger. Oh, I got to show them what they missing out on. Mm. Right. But the outcome is I want to show them that I'm stronger. Let me show you I'm stronger as if that's something that's going to show that you No, that shows you that you weak. Because you can't move on without somebody. You can't you can't even function. My daddy used to like to say you can't swallow mayonnaise. Remember that? Remember that? Can't swallow mayonnaise. It was true. Did it, did it. it was very true. It was very true. And I don't have a lot for y'all tonight. Because I was planning on, because I still got good work left. But let me see how far it is, because I'm going to restore it. I ain't wondering about that. Mm -hmm. What's that? How are you? Oh, no, I ain't worried about this. It ain't gonna take me long. Hey, how far y'all out, Jay? You pulling up? Oh, okay, tempo. Yeah, I got that thing on strain. I didn't let anything, ain't no issues. Um, yeah, that ain't no issue anymore. That's the only reason I'm still calm right now. But I'm gonna I'm I'm knock it out pretty swift here. I ain't, it's not going to go. I ain't gonna tear it long. <laughs> Um, I other thing is he cut it off because he got the swing of it too much. Uh, that would tell me. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. It's on him, man. It's on him. Hey, listen. I keep trying to tell y'all. I keep trying to tell y'all, and I know they're gonna probably make a clip of this. I'm a real life uh uh I ain't gonna say biblical character, but I'm a real life Faith character, man. He made it that. What's up, man? Like the red shoes. What's up, fella? What's going on? Good. Hey. Hey. Everybody came here with the mouth wide open. It's all right. It's all right. We're gonna talk about it all. Yes, indeed. That's crazy because I don't think they ever seen me not with her. That's the crazy part. Mm -hmm. I didn't look at you. Mm -hmm. yeah, what yeah. happened? I chopped it off. Yeah. Chop a style. Mm -hmm. Hey, Maddie Patty. How are you sitting? Uh, I don't know. I guess I'm going to get a chair. Bishop, you want to um, open us up in prayer? Right yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything that is going on, Lord Jesus, in our life. We know that you are the director, Lord Jesus, of everything. And we know that there's not anything missing except we allow it. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Father. And we pray, Lord Jesus, that you will continue to raise the staff 
Mm. Oh God, to the place that you would have them to go mm -hmm. for the purpose of your kingdom. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, and we magnify you, and we pray that you will give us everything that we need on this evening. Mm -hmm. In the precious name of our Lord. Amen. 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 All right, y'all. Uh, letting y'all know too if y'all need a <laughs> if y'all need an envelope, uh, go ahead and grab one. We're gonna take up uh, offering the day since we're not here Friday. Mm -hmm. Anybody that's on live, if you wanna, uh, if you feel led to give, please. Uh, the cash app is this is the wave uh, on cash app. This is the wave. We also do Apple Pay. So if anybody yeah. feel led to give to the ministry, please do. Um, also, I want to say y'all, we do have a YouTube page for all everybody that comes in of you. Um, it is this guy is the wave at YouTube. Um, we do have a lot of content on there, so if you guys, if you guys, please feel free to go and please share and subscribe. Also, when you go over there, please subscribe because um, we're trying to build up our platform. So, you guys, please, please subscribe so we can get this message out there. All right, so we're gonna get we're gonna get right down to the nitty gritty and the gritty to the nitty. Uh, yeah, I just let me know I take it off. Uh, we can get right down to it. Who are you? Who are you? It is a follower of the Mashiach. Mm -hmm. Do you know that most people, when you ask them who they are, they'll tell you what they do for a living? Oh. No, you answer right. I'm just saying, when you ask majority of people who they are, They'll answer with what they do. Who are you? I'm a lawyer. Who are you? I'm a doctor. Who are you? I'm a firefighter. I'm a policeman. I'm a. So you're a policeman. But when you go home, are you still a policeman? When you take that uniform off, are you still a policeman? Do you understand what I'm saying? An occupation cannot be who you are. Right. Neither can you ever make your occupation who you are. Right. Mm -hmm. We go after titles mm -hmm. so that we can create an image for right. ourselves. Mm -hmm. And the reason we do that is some level in some form of insecurity. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all with me? Genesis 1 and 26, the King James Version says, And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So we see here that God created us, and he created us in his image and his likeness. Then he, uh, then he gave us dominion. Over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, every creeping thing, right. and everything that creepeth upon the earth, right? Mm -hmm. Over the fish of the sea, that's that's important too. Over the stuff in the water, over the stuff in the land, right? right. Somebody read that for me. Did y'all read that scripture right? Mm -hmm. Before he ever gave you domin dominion, before he gave you anything, he gave you an image. He didn't give you, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't give you uh, dominion over the fish and over the cattle before he gave you an image. He didn't give you dominion over things before he told you who you are. Y'all with me? Dominion was never intended for man to rule man. Again, dominion was never meant for somebody to be over, or for a human being to be over another human being. It was never, that was never the original intent. That word is important. Original intent. All right? This is what the flesh desires. That's why people get a thrill of being in charge because it puffs up the flesh. You got something to say, Bruce? I feel it over here. You got it. 
You you ever seen uh and I'm sure you've had them. Um you ever see somebody take a position on a job and everything about them change? Huh? They don't, they don't even, you know that they're abusing their authority. Asking you to do things you they know ain't supposed to be asking you to do. Working in areas you ain't supposed to work in. Huh? Doing too much. Right? See, what we don't understand is a lot of times, a lot of these positions we look for, he can't give them to us because he, we don't know who we are. When you don't know who you are, you become the title. When you don't know who you are, you latch on to anything that makes you feel important. Romans 8 and 7 through 10 says, because the carnal mind is enmity against God. What is a carnal mind? That's good. A fleshly mind. A fleshly mind is enmity. It, it, it wars against God. A fleshly concept wars against God. Now, what am I saying by that? Let me give you let me give you an earthly example. It says that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and the earth was void and without form and darkness went upon the earth uh, the, 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 above the deep. Right. Did he say anything about a big bang? So what the world must do is they must come up with a reason why this would work. That's where you get your big bang from. That's a carnal mind. Trying to make reasoning behind spiritual things on earth. Y'all with me? Um, for it is not subject to the law of God. So anything that's carnal minded is not subject to law. Y'all got to get with me. That's why we reject law. It's because we're fleshly minded. Pretty simple. Uh, for it is for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Now hold on. Now hold on. Now hold on. Because there's another scripture that talks about how you can please God. What is it? Oh, now we get into the root of two. So law must only happen through faith. And you know that as you know that on the corner world, because what you ask yourself all the time is. I know we supposed to be doing this, but why are we supposed to be doing this? Your flesh tries to reason. With itself. On why it's doing things. This is why the flesh wars with the spirit and the spirit against the flesh daily. This is what goes on in your mind all day. I know why. I know that I'm supposed to be doing this. But why I got to do it? This is what kids say to their parents all the time. When they ask you why, that's what they ask. That's why they're asking you. Because inherently the flesh is disobedient. We're going to find out why it's disobedient too. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of God dwelling you. Now, if Paul, I, I got to make sure you get that. But ye are not in the flesh, not supposed to be anyway, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of God dwelling you. So he's saying this is supposed to be true. If the spirit of God is dwelling in you, if it's operating in you, if it's uh, uh, above everything else in your life, if it's above your flesh. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead. 
You ever heard the scripture of dead man bones? Reverse it. You got dead man flesh. But the spirit is alive. But that was its original intent, intent anyway. <clears throat> the intent was never for the eyes of the flesh to be opened. So when you take on Christ, you close that eye that Eve opened. Y'all got to listen to me, man. I'm trying to break this thing down to you. And, it, and, and, and since Christ understood how hard it was because he came, he gave us a comforter to help us out. Now, not only do you have your inner spirit, you have the Holy Spirit that dwells in you as well. Now you're supposed to be tag teaming against the flesh. Say, all right, I'm going I'm to go. And if Christ being you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Now listen to, listen to the difference. All right. The, if Christ being you, uh, the body is dead because of sin, right? But the spirit is life because of righteousness. So anything dealing with the flesh is dead. Y'all listen to me now. Anything dealing with spirit is righteousness or life. Y'all got me? All right. Haircut. <laughs> All y'all been waiting on. So for the past month, Y'all has been dealing with me about my hair. And I, of course, and my flesh was rising up in me and said, nah, he ain't saying that. He ain't, nah, he ain't saying that. But I'm mean, going to tell my week's going by. Week's going on. Hey, uh, go ahead and cut it off. No, 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 no. That ain't, that ain't the spirit. That ain't the spirit. I don't question it no other time. Until it was time for my flesh to die. Ah. I said, but I grew it because you told me to. There's a biblical thing, is it? Does it change who you are in me? I let weeks go by. I'm still giving them every excuse in the book. Then he says to me this. Are you tired of that hair? Is that hair got a lock on you? No, ain't nothing. No. Ain't, yeah, man, ain't tired of nothing. I gotta cut it then. Ah, oh, you serious? Later on, I got a text from I got a text from my wife of confirmation of what he had been telling me. And she's giving me about three or four. Now, she didn't know what she was saying. She was just complimenting me. She sent me some pictures of me with my hair cut. And was complimenting me. Now, those pictures could have popped. But you know how they do the little things that pop up in your phone and old pictures? It might have popped them up there. So, the last straw was the last picture she sent me. You hear me? So I'm like, I, I, I hear you. I ain't that hard headed no more. No more. So I went and I laid down. He woke me up. Now I'm dead tired. He woke me up. I said, man, I get a cut. I get a cut Friday. I can't. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it Friday. He said, no, you're not. You're going to cut it today. Because if you don't do it now, you ain't going to do it. He ain't never talk to y'all like that. If you don't do it now, you're not going to do it. Do you know how I know that was true? Because I know me. And if I don't do it right then, ain't no telling when it's going to get done. I tell my wife that all the time. Baby, if you ask me to do this, let me go ahead and do it. I know you don't be, I know you think I'll be tired and you be trying to preserve my energy. But if you ask me to do something, if you want me to do it, let me go ahead and do it. Because if you, if I wait, we're going to be waiting. <laughs> so that's what happened to my hair. My hair. Once, I got, once I got to the barbershop, a lady said to me, you going to leave the culture? I said, cut this now. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I ain't in no culture. 
This hair had me tied to a car. What are you talking about? I should be, look, look. That's, that's what that three or four pound was sitting up there on the front of the head. Because it's a culture. It's a culture. But I didn't know that. All I would think about is I can't shake it no more. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, listen. We get tied to the dumbest stuff. I told y'all over and over again. I know a guy named Polo. And I watched him spend all of his money on Polos because his nickname was Polo. Wow. Do you understand how it... Listen, y'all Y'all can... Listen. The, we get tied to the smallest thing. And because it's so small, you don't recognize it as a stronghold. That's how the enemy works. But I recognized it by the spirit when she said a word to me. I was like, I didn't even see that. But that's what happened to the hair. <laughs> but then, then I'm not true to the creed. Mm -hmm. Of what it really is. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what I grew it for, but for the true creed. I I grew it because it, I was following something, and that's what he told me to do. So if he told me to grow it. And he told me to cut it. I got to obey the same way. My haircut changed my look. But it didn't change my image. It changed how I look. It changed my image though. I know somebody. But that's what it is. That's what the image is. Is it? Is that what the image is? Because we just read it. The definition of an image. But I'm going to give it to you again in case you don't know. Image in, he in, in, in Hebrew is tesselin, which means representative. So represent it's a representation of something. Although my look changed, who I represented did it. You can form your own image of someone without even meeting them. So how does it have something to do with a look? Mm -hmm. You can go solely based on what people say about them. This is where we get the word imagination from. Somebody can talk this about somebody so much, you frame this picture in your head of who they are. You create a picture based upon the actions or the character that's displayed to you. Y'all with me? Jeremiah 1 and 4 through 5 says, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. I didn't add this into my notes, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you because he just laid it on my heart. There's a biblical explanation of this too. You know that people teach that there was two creations? In the Bible, they say, there's two creations. Because you know in the beginning it says, he formed man and woman. I mean, he created man and woman, right? But then you don't get, you got to get all the way down there before he tell you how he did it. So people say that that's two creations. When it's not. It is, but it ain't. I'm going to explain it to you. When he said, let us create man and woman in our image, you were already created because he spoke it. He didn't have to do nothing for you to already exist because he did it spiritually. So when he said, before I formed you, I knew you, he's talking about the spirit. Now, when you skip down and you see where he reached down there and grabbed that dirt and started making that Play-Doh and making you do. That's what I mean by not technically. He created your vehicle. He created flesh. But it didn't do nothing. It couldn't do nothing. It couldn't move. It couldn't do nothing until he breathed life into it. So before he formed you, 
you were all, before he formed you, he knew you because you are already here before he formed your flesh. And before thou camest out of the womb, I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet into the nations. Who are you? Before you were formed, God had already spoke, uh, spoke us into existence. Then, uh, then after he formed us from the dirt, he breathed life into, uh, into that flesh. That's what I just talked about. Flesh was only designed to house your true self, which is spirit. That's the only, that was his only purpose. Because without flesh, you can't be here lawfully. That's why he used earth to form your suit. The separate, the separate the lawful from the unlawful. Absolutely. He's attempting to reach you on your cellular. Your image was created before your flesh was. So you can never build yourself up through flesh. I'm going to read that again. Your image was created before your flesh was. So you can never build yourself up through flesh. The flesh has one job. That's to react. This is why sin feels so good to the flesh. But grieves the spirit. Y'all better listen to that. Whenever you sin. Spirit never feels good with that. Only the flesh does. That's the only person that gets any excitement. Out of sin. Your spirit immediately grieves. Satan was crafty enough to get man to open the eyes of the flesh because he understood the war that would take place between the flesh and the spirit. The flesh is inherently insecure. Y'all better listen. Listen. I'm about to get into some stuff. All right. The flesh is inherently insecure because it knows it must die. The flesh knows it has an expiration date. I don't care if you live until he part the sky. Your flesh still got to die. That's why you're going up to get a new suit. The flesh is inherently insecure because it know it, uh, because it must die. And because it knows that, it constantly tries to protect itself from everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It know it got to die. And since we opened up the eyes so it can think on its own, uh, now it's trying to protect itself because it know it can't be here without the spirit. In the spirit without the flip, y'all. The spirit has no need to protect itself because it don't suffer death. <sighs> this is why you speak so fast from your feelings. Because the flesh must be on defense at all times to protect itself. That's why you struggle with correction. Mm -hmm. Your flesh is too loud. That's why you respond the way you respond. Because you're responding out of your flesh. Man, the spirit don't do all that barking, man. The spirit is the coolest, calmest thing in the world. That, listen, man, there was only one guy that walked down here fully in the spirit, man. That was Christ. That's why he was so cool. Do you know how gangster it is to walk on water? Man, what you think the people were saying? Man, that man, that boy probably talking to that boy. Hey, man, this joke is this, man. This dude right here different. This dude out here walking on water, bro. <laughs> Yo, what? Man, let me tell y'all what this dude did. What he do, man? He turn water into wine again? Nah, bro, that's old. This dude out here without no flip-flops all walking on water, cuz. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Hey, pretty did he walk on water? Yeah, he told me to come out there, too. How strong do your spirit have to be mm. 
to defy the laws of gravity. Christ's flesh was dead, dead. Because his flesh would have told him, now you know you can't get out there and walk on. Mm-hmm. Peter's dead. <sighs> this is why you speak so fast from your feelings. Because the flesh must be on defense at all times to protect itself. This is why you're struggling with correction. This is why it's so hard to die to yourself. Because the mindset only kills the flesh. Because this mindset only kills the flesh. That's what poses say. That's why it's so hard for you to die to yourself. Because when you die to yourself, the only thing you kill is your flesh. Your spirit can't die. That's why there's an eternal fire. So the flesh uh, will always try and protect itself. Anytime you're afraid to do something, it's because the flesh is afraid. Anytime you tell yourself you're afraid, it's because your flesh is afraid. If you put your flesh in a compromising position, it's going to talk. If your spirit ain't ain't, uh, loud enough to tell it to shut up. You ought to you you ought to open your business. Nah, I don't think I, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> the flesh scared that the stress of the opening the business is gonna kill itself. Mm-hmm. I ain't listening, man. I'm talking good though. Mm-hmm. I'm hey now. Mm-hmm. Cause the spirit ain't got no fear. The spirit you ought to open the business now to open team. I mean, Christ taught that spirit talk, bro. Yeah. I want to tell y'all something. I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to tell y'all how bad. Let me tell y'all how bad Christ was with the spirit thing. I'm going to tell y'all how bad he was. That joker was ugly. And a woman cleaned her, his feet with her hair. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, that, uh, Bishop, I consider myself kind of cute. <laughs> I ain't had never, ain't never had no. Y'all, ain't, y'all not listening right, man. Y'all ain't listening right. I'm just, I'm just, listen what I'm trying to tell you now. The man overcame flesh so much that he became cute. Y'all ever seen the ugly joker with a pretty person say how? <laughs> Because he was able to get her to see past his flesh. Y'all ain't listening, man. Come on, listen. He was able to get her to see past his flesh. Listen, man. When it comes to uh, professional athletes are the most mental strong people on the face of the planet. Y'all ever heard that before? Do you know why? It's because they're spiritually strong. Some of them don't even know it is that. They call it mental strength, but that ain't really what it is. You understand what I'm saying? Because your body will tell you to stop. Where the spirit will tell you to keep going. They have tapped into the spirit so strongly that it overwhelms the flesh when it's time to stop. This is why they can push their body to the limits to become a professional athlete. Spirit doesn't have fear. Because they don't got no reason to because they don't die. I'm almost done, y'all. Proverbs 27 and 20 in the New Living Translation says, Just as death and destruction are never satisfied, so human desire is never satisfied. I'm going to read that one more time. Just as death and destruction are never satisfied, so human desire is never satisfied. This is where that thing we said was the scripture that uh, the flesh is never satisfied. This is where it comes from. You can never satisfy the flesh. I don't care what you do. If you bought a new car this year, when the new one comes out next year, you're going to want it. Because the flesh is never satisfied. 
This is why the world constantly sells you an image that would seemingly increase the flesh. You ought to get this. This will look good on you. Then you'll be better. You ought to get this. This will be good for you. Then this will make you look better. You should get this because you did it. There's a uh, there's a video, and but it's been a saying for a long time that men only do stuff for women. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? They'll ask the questions like, "Why you make money to get a good looking woman? Why you got a job to get a good looking woman? Why do you drive a nice car to get a good looking woman?" It's all fleshly. The end result is all fleshly. All right. Because even the world knows the flesh is never satisfied. Uh, Romans 6 and 20 through 23 says, when you were slaves to sin, you were free from the obligation to do right. When you lived in the flesh, you didn't care nothing about doing anything right. Because the flesh was getting a buffet, man, was getting all it wanted. You didn't have a buffer in there. To give you conviction enough to stop. The spirit literally was lying dormant in your life. And what was the result? You are now ashamed. As soon as you see. When you're when you're born again, you be, you immediately become ashamed. But this one is saying when you leave the world, you become ashamed of the things you did when you was in the world. You with me? That's why people get up. They move away when they change their life. They move. You are now ashamed of the things you used to do. Things that end in eternal doom. But. Eternal doom. And when y'all remember that? For them folks that think they're going to be all right because they're just going to die. No, this thing say eternal doom. But now, ye, but now you are free from the power of sin and have become slaves of God. You become slaves to the spirit. Now you do those things that lead to holiness and, and result in eternal life. Now we pose to be. Post to be. It's what we supposed to be. For the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ our Savior. Alright? Sin and death. Sin leads to death because it only feeds the flesh and not the spirit. And flesh will die. Sin means to go against Yah's original intent. Anything going against his original intent is sin. That means you too. I'll tell y'all something. I'll tell y'all something. When we started this group of series, what did I tell y'all that, that this was about? Do y'all remember anybody? The gifts. That's right. Y'all want it? Yeah, the gifts. This is about the gifts. The problem is not that you don't know what your gift is, so you can stop saying that. The problem is not that you're not operating in your gifts. The problem is you just don't know how to use them. You don't have the confidence that's required for you to be able to use them. Watch this. When Christ, when Christ went and got his boys, where did he get them from? He got him at work. Hey, yeah, you, you, you're doing a good job, but I'm going to show you how to use that the right way. Let me give you back your image. Because right now you're working for the world, but I'm about to show you how to work for my father. Why am I saying that? They were fishing. He didn't say, I'm not, no, you're no longer going to be a fisherman. But you're going to be a fisher of men. You do you why you operating? Cause you a fisherman. You just using the wrong bait and pulling up the wrong stuff. 
Sin is to go against y'all's original intent. But sins with an S. Y'all see that? Sins with an S. It's plural. Is to rebel against y'all's original intent. Y'all remember me telling y'all a long time ago? A person that sin is not the same uh, thing as a sinner. This is why the world promotes an image that takes you away from Yah's image because it puffs up the flesh with lead, which leads to sin and death. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Everybody know this scripture. This is how one we get in there. We start singing that thing. We know it's so good. <laughs> Hebrews 11, 1 through 2 says, Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. A good report? Good report. All we want in life is to have a good report. That's all we want. We just want a good report. A good report means to have favor with Yah and man. A.K.A. to make people like you. That's all you want. You just want to be included. <laughs> what we call self-esteem. Y'all with me? Y'all know what I'm talking about? Question. Why do men work out? They look good. Hmm? They look good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why do women wear them fake eyebrows? Eyelashes. They look good. Eyelashes, whatever they call. <laughs> them little spider things. Why y'all wear them? Beautifying of the eyes. <laughs> As much people as much as people say this for me, it ain't. It ain't for you. And you know it ain't. I'm doing this for me. I no, no, you're not. Knock it off. And you know you ain't. It's to gain or to obtain a good report. That's what you do it for. Why try to create an image? So that we can gain, uh, we try to create an image so that we can gain a good report. But scripture says that faith is how you gain a good report. That's what the scripture said, right? Y'all need me to go back to it? That scripture never said to do nothing, nothing fleshly to gain a good report. It said faith gains a good report. Enhancements are of the flesh. Y'all got me? Mm -hmm. Enhancements are of the flesh. Mm -hmm. What do I mean by enhancing? Enhancements. Things that you gain, doing stuff to your body. <laughs> I ain't going to be lewd. But faith is of the spirit. You can't build yourself, you can't build yourself up from the outside in. You can't do it. You cannot do it. Because your true self is within. That's why it's so hard to keep up with working out until you change something within like your mind. Only spirit builds spirit. You can buy whatever you want to buy. It is not going to make you feel better about yourself. It might for a moment. For a moment. But it won't last. <coughs> the way we see faith is wrong. We view faith, we we view faith as nothing. Like like literally nothing. When you think about faith, you think about nothing. Am I making that up? Y'all know what I'm talking about? When you think about faith, you don't think of it as being anything. But faith is a thing. <laughs> It's something that really exists. Substance. Greek. Hypothesis. Uh, hypothesis. I forgot how they said it. Hypothesis, I think that's it. Which means the confidence of a person. The word substance means confidence of a Why am I saying that? 
Things are the substance of faith. It says faith is the substance of things. Well, we see here that substance means, which means the confidence of a person. So faith is the so faith is the confidence of a person. You got to slow down when you read scripture. Don't be in a rush. Reading it faster and getting all the way through it ain't going to make you understand it no better. So things can never give you confidence. Only faith can. Things are fleshly. Faith is spiritual. Y'all with me? I'm about there. I only got two more slides. Faith is so important because the enemy only shows up when you are weak or feeling insecure. This is why we talk about insecurities. Satan popped up on Eve because she was a weaker vessel. And offered her something that will make her feel more confident. Why was Eve the lesser vessel? Why he called her the weaker vessel? Say what now? Because y'all didn't give her the instructions. Oh, there we go. She felt insecure because she felt like she wasn't in the boys' club. Why he ain't talking to me? Why he ain't? Why ain't nobody do that for me? <laughs> me. She had the instructions. Yeah, she did. She got them. She got the instructions. Because the problem wasn't that she didn't get the instructions. He gave them to her good. He even added on to it to make sure she got it. But but that that, that buffer made her feel insecure. Y'all listen to what I'm telling you now. But why I can't see him, I want to be able to see God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all think the enemy don't hear that? I want to know what God knows. I, I need to know what you know, big dog. Ain't a person on the face of, face of the earth that can do everything. The one that could live. Mm -hmm. Satan popped up on Christ when he was hungry. Do y'all see the... the, the we know faith to be confidence. So he feel like when you at your weakest, you don't have confidence. So he pops up when you feeling insecure. I can make you feel good real quick. Ah, y'all listen to me, man. Listen to I look. Hey, I can get you. Hey, I can get you where you need to be at for a second. He was hungry and offered him something. Uh, he offered him something that would feed his flesh. That's why Christ responded that man shall not live by bread alone. To put the enemy on notice that he was aware that just feeding your flesh does not make you feel better. You cannot you cannot fulfill a spiritual burden. With a carnal object. You can not do it. That's what he meant by not by bread alone. So last slide. Stop allowing people to steer your life in a direction because of an image that they want uh, you to portray. Get it, y'all, one more time. I don't think y'all heard that real good. Stop allowing people to steer your life in a direction because of an image they want you to portray. They are not your God. Has anyone ever said to you, that ain't the person I had imagined for you? What is you talking about, bro? That ain't the person I saw you being with. What is you is you getting them for me or you? <laughs> because they want to steer your life in a direction. Remember, I said at the beginning of this that uh, 
Dominion was never meant for men to rule over men. That's a fleshly mm -hmm. thing. So the flesh is always trying to rule over somebody else. Mm -hmm. If I can get you to do what I want you to do, flesh understands now I got two bodies. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that the, the day that we ate the apple, we gave control over this vessel, over this body suit. We gave that over to the enemy. And we must gain control back over that. That's why Christ came and died. That's why before Christ came and died, I, we were going to hit, we were there. Death, death was our portion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be confident in who Yah is building you up to be. He is the creator of the image. Mm -hmm. He said, everything that was made was made by me. Everything that ever existed was made by me. I don't care what it was. It was made by me because if I wouldn't have created this, you wouldn't have been able to create nothing else from what I created. That's why all things work for the good of those who love him and are called according to him. Because it's his stuff. And we are his people. So he is the only one who can do it right. So stop trying to build confidence outwardly because it's not going to happen. You will never be okay until your spirit man is okay. Because the spirit is constantly warring against the flesh. So if you're living in your flesh, you ain't never going to be comfortable. Because the spirit is going to constantly war to bring you back home. Man, you can do whatever you want to to yourself. It ain't going to bring you no confidence. In fact, some of the most unconfident people, I just made that word up. The most insecure people are people with money. Y'all think I'm lying, don't you? Think I'm lying? <laughs> They lose confidence because they don't know if people around them for them or their money. Hmm? Now I listen to NBA players all the time saying, man, if she wasn't with me before I, came, before I got this, I ain't getting her. Because they got to walk around in the house every day wondering if she's here for me or she's here for the money. She there for the money. You ain't got to question it. <laughs> That's what you're there for. Hey, because I, I got one for y'all. Do y'all know the word? Uh, do y'all know the word weaker? The word is da. The word is da. The Hebrew word is da. D a h. I didn't. I didn't say it. The, the word is da. D a h. It literally means to need from. So when he says she's the weaker vessel, he's saying she needs from you. It means to need from or needy. I know y'all take that word weak as a bad word. No, it just means you need you. That's the way he created you. That was the original intent. That's why he pulled you from us. It just means needy. But she always need to get that what she posted. <laughs> Is you want no or you ain't want it. If you want it, don't look. If she ain't McDonald's ain't her portion, it ain't her portion. I wonder if she here for I wonder if she here for my money. Yes. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what she here for. Amongst other things, but that's one of them. She supposed to be. Uh, she don't, she man, man, she don't need man. Uh, I don't even think she. Okay. You don't even love me. She wasn't called to. I know that don't feel good. It's the truth though. <coughs> he didn't create her to love you. <coughs> he created her to respect you, but he ain't created her to love you. Now she's commanded to love you in another way, but not in the way you talking about. Love gonna come because of where she come from. But don't be mad when she don't love you all the time. You better work on that like. 
Worry about if she love you. Worry about if she like you. Like is stronger than love. Y'all believe me? Y'all laughing, but like stronger than love. You don't believe me? Watch this. She love you. Look how she treat you at home. She like her friends. Look how she treat them. <laughs> but you begin you begin to become insecure because you don't understand the spirit. Now you're asking 10,000 questions that ain't got nothing to do with the price of tea in China. All the answers in the book. Look in it. Look in the book. The answer's in there. But what I'm supposed to do when she... Nothing! No, I'm supposed to do nothing. You're supposed to provide, protect, uh, be a comedian, a chef. Uh, uh, you're supposed to be a master mason. You're supposed to build a house. You're supposed to be able to build a structure. You're supposed to be able to leap from a single bound. Yes! She was created to need all of that. Why? Because you were created to be that. That's good. Man, she think I can do anything. She posed too. Everybody was given an image. And if we walk in those images, we ain't got to argue about uh, who got the dishes. We ain't got to argue about who got the trash. We ain't got to argue about the small things we arguing about. You ain't got to be in corners to see where she at. I know it hurt, but it's the truth. If you if, if you got that security that you're supposed to have, like that faith, it wouldn't even matter. It wouldn't even matter. Because you would understand her. So you can, man, you can have a muscle on top of the muscle. You can have a muscle on top of that muscle. Man, you can have the ones that come. Y'all ever seen the ones with the on the neck? Mm -hmm. Walk like this. You can't even walk good. Be just as terrible as you want to be on the inside. That's some vice versa too. Man, she could throw on 18,000 pounds of makeup inside just as ugly as it want to be. <coughs> Y'all don't believe what I'm talking about, dude. That story in the Bible where uh, I want, I think it was uh, Isaac, Isaac was, was it Isaac was riding in town and he was going to see uh, Jacob. And he pulled up to Jacob's house and his wife was standing outside and he asked her to get him some water. That was Isaac, wasn't it? That was Isaac. I'm not sure. I think it was Isaac. That was Isaac. Uh, but he asked her for a glass of water, and her response was, "We ain't got no water. We ain't got outside water. Nasty." It was the daddy of the child that they sent out, sent away, she, and he was like, "Put the tin away." It, it was. It was Isaac. It was Isaac. Wasn't it was it? a daddy though. It was yeah, it was. It was. It was. Uh, Isaac was. Uh, Jacob was gone. If I, I could be wrong, I think it was Isaac. I think it was Isaac and Jacob. Either way, y'all know the story I'm talking about. Okay. But he rode into town, and the wife was outside, and he asked her for some water. He told her who he was. I mean, that's a man, daddy. I think it was just a, a, a servant that he sent out there. Why am I? I'm thinking. Okay, either way. Yeah, because he. I think he sent him out there to like find find a wife for. No, he was already married. That's what I'm saying. I think it was Isaac and Jacob. Either way, let that let not get caught off in the doctor. He though. told her to put her away, then he got another. Deb, I'm getting there. You're going to tell the story before I get there. She was nasty. And experience, experience sent somebody. He said, man, go tell my son to get rid of that one. Put the nail away in the tent or something. He had. Yeah. You ain't got to toss that one up, man. And the next time he rode back in town, he had another one. What gave? What get? What had outside water? But that woman didn't have outside water because she wasn't confident. What? How? Why am I saying that? Because if you got if you got the spirit dwelling in you, you know that we drink from a well that never runs dry. That's confidence. Confidence is when somebody hungry and you give them your last pot of beans. I know y'all don't know, no, but that's an old saying. Cause y'all don't even eat beans no more. Y'all understand what I'm saying? 
This piggybacks off that message we were talking about, about being one person. <coughs> and that one person should be the person that walks in the spirit and be that person all the time. If you can manage that, you will see an increase in your life because your life will change. Just be one person. Just be one. You will gain confidence in being that one person. Now, you know how to increase that person because you ain't 10 different people. Okay, let me work on this area and then I do this. Instead of creating a whole other image over here, another whole image over here, another whole... That's insecurities, man. It's insecurities. And I'm learning that all that yelling... That's, I mean, unless I'm doing it to the dog or the kids. The dude joke is needed sometimes. But all that yelling you're doing back and forth, that's that's, a, that's an insecurity, man. What you talking that loud for? You ain't got... When I, was, when, I was, when, I was, when I was in the road, I ain't do a whole bunch of talking, man. I ain't finna argue with you. I ain't getting paid to do it. I'm arguing for it. I'm not gonna keep going back and forth with you. But we got to take on that persona because if you got security in what you're talking about, it's fine. Do you know that you got to have you that you got to have security in order to be able to tell people uh, to dust your feet off and walk away? If you don't, your flesh is going to keep arguing. No, it ain't this what it say. Look right here. It read. I got me. All right. Father, I thank you for another opportunity to be in your presence. I hope that this word, Father, reaches somebody, Father. I pray today, Father, that you secure your people, that you give them such a confidence, such a boldness, Father, that you that you give them such a boldness that they can approach your throne correctly. For you have asked us to uh, to to approach your, your throne of grace boldly, Father. That we understand, Father. We, we understand that that means to come to you, Father, with open hand, with open arms, with our held, heads held high, knowing that what we did is in our past and that you are the future that we need. So, Father, we look to walk in your spirit. We look to be accountable, Father, for our lives and the lives you have given us, Father. For that is the supreme confidence. That is the faith that you are looking for. So, Father, y'all, we ask tonight, if there's anybody on the dangerous highways, that you protect their vehicles, Father, not just their vehicles, but the vehicles around them. That they may have safe travels to and from their destination. We are thankful for all the things that you do. In your son, Yahushua's name, we pray. Hallelujah. All right. Thank everybody for stopping in. We won't be having service on Friday or Sunday, but we will be back the following week on Friday and Sunday. Um, uh, I kind of like this. I guess this is the first one I was going to do. I've been promised I was going to do a weekly, uh, a midweek teaching every week. I guess this this will be the first one. But we thank everybody for stopping in again. We, uh, if you feel led to give, please give. The cash app is in the description box. It is this is the way that you? Um, this is the way I'm gonna say YouTube. This is the way that is dollar sign. This is the way we we do have a YouTube channel. Please, please, please go on there, subscribe, um, like, share the videos. We have I don't know over eighty something videos on YouTube. Please go. Feel free. Um, if you're going to critique, just go over there. I don't care. Whatever take you over there. Just read the uh, word so that the word can get out and we can spread this good word to people because we promote change. Um, we thank everybody for stopping in. We're going to see y'all next time. Shalom.